you know, it's a scary time right now for a lot of people. And the question is, what do you do when you're afraid? We're going to think about that today on Now What Devotions from Trinity Lutheran and Cyrus. Right now, there's a lot of fear in our culture and anxiety. And in our Bible text today, we're in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 10, and Jesus is telling the disciples what to be afraid of and what not to be afraid of. There's a lot of things to be afraid of in this life, no doubt. Car accidents, lightning strikes, murder hornets, all the things, right? But in our culture right now, there's a lot of fear. A lot of folks feel like the police aren't treating them fairly. Other folks feel like uh, they could get sick at any time. We've got a pandemic going on. This is a scary, hard time. And Jesus has some words for his disciples about it. He says, guys, I want you to go out and do some hard and important work. But make sure that you're afraid of the right things and not the wrong things. And so what are the things we should be afraid of? Jesus says, be afraid of that which can destroy your soul rather than that which can destroy your body. And if you think about it, that makes really good sense. Uh, our bodies are always dying. We're not going to last forever. We are mortal creatures, however much we wish we weren't. Uh, but Jesus says, yeah, your bodies are mortal, but your minds are not. Your souls are not. You're going to live forever, and I am going to help you do that. So don't be afraid of the things that destroy your body. Be afraid of the things that destroy your soul. And that's also why Jesus says, make sure you deal with people and relationships because their souls last and they truly matter. They last forever. He uses kind of a funny phrase. He says to his disciples, listen, I'm the boss of this thing and I'm going to end up on a cross. And if you think I've got it bad, you're probably going to have a hard time too. But just because we're going to have a hard time doesn't mean it's not what we should be doing. And it's what God wants us to do. I don't know about you, but for me, what's often more frightening is not the scary situations like when the car goes off the road or uh, when uh, somebody threatens you or is angry at you. I mean, that kind of stuff doesn't always scare me as much as some of the social situations where I have to tell the truth or speak my mind or I have to be vulnerable emotionally with others, where I have to share my heart. That's what Jesus is calling his disciples to do. Go, go out, spend time with people, share yourself, share your heart. And yeah, they're going to discredit you and they're going to yell at you and they're going to be angry at you. And I'll tell you what, I did not come to bring peace to the world. I came to bring peace to people's souls and hearts. You're going to split people up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to draw divider lines when you tell the truth. But tell the truth in love. Be kind, be generous, be gracious, and see what God's spirit does. Hey, if that devotion was useful to you, make sure you share it with a neighbor. Oh, and by the way, news at church. We have a new office administrator, office manager, boss. I don't know. She's the best. Her name's Kayla. Say hi, Kayla. Hi. Welcome to Trinity. Woo! Okay. Okay. Bye-bye.